it's always a pleasure to work with a lot. Um, and, um, you know, this is, this is probably the uh, 20th survey we've done together exploring uh, cybersecurity uh, globally. And this, this particular survey is very exciting. So, um, and um, I'll be walking you through the key findings uh, today. Um, the research provides insights into the challenges SMBs face when it comes to cybersecurity um, and highlights opportunities uh, for improvement. Um, and throughout the presentation, we'll explore where SMBs are focusing their, focusing their cybersecurity efforts and where, the, where the, uh, the gaps are that can be addressed by CSPs. So just a brief touch on the, um, the study detail. Uh, the survey was conducted in July 2024, and we targeted 450 uh, decision makers, owner managers, um, uh, from SMBs with up to 50 employees. Uh, the business surveyed um, represent key, survey, uh, key sectors, including IT, retail, manufacturing, professional services, um, and hospitality. Geographically, 225 respondents came from um, Europe, 150 from North America, and 75 from Asia Pacific. So the results give us a well-rounded understanding of how SMBs uh, in different sectors around the world are approaching cybersecurity. Um, folks, moving on to the server results, so I think I went flicked past a slide just then. Um, this was just to, again, we've just, just covered this. So small businesses, 30% um, from up to one to 10 employees. Um, and these are small, you know, very independent shops, some mom and pop shops. Um, they're moving up to smaller 11 to 19 and 20 to, to 50 businesses, uh, employees and businesses. So we get a good broad spectrum um, uh, across the, the different ranges. Um, and most of the respondents are decision makers when it comes to cybersecurity. Um, interestingly, when it comes to technology management, as you'd expect, um, a lot of the respondents are um, have an in-house um, person that looks after cybersecurity, but no dedicated role or department. So it's likely to be the owner manager, um, or they might have an in-house person with a dedicated role, and that's going to be towards the sort of the, the larger side. But a lot of them do outsource as well. But the majority for this service uh, survey, around sixty percent, are uh, managing cybersecurity in-house. So moving on to the survey results. So first up, we asked um, our respondents what type of cybersecurity solutions they're using um, at the moment. And as you can see straight away, 77% of SMBs um, are using basic solutions like antivirus and 64% um, are using firewalls. However, only around 18% are using more advanced tools like multi-factor authentication, and just 14% deploy intrusion detection prevention systems. Um, interestingly, um, majority of them have two or more solutions in place, um, and 68% have three or four solutions. Um, and, and what's quite interesting, as we've seen in other surveys as well, is that once you become a victim of a cybersecurity um, attack, you tend to just start building up more and more solutions. Um, and that can create quite a uh, budget constraint on on CS, on um, on SMBs. So the the, take, the key takeaway from this slide is that whilst SMBs are aware of basic solutions, there is also this significant gap in the use of more comprehensive security measures. Um, so this presents an opportunity for CSPs to offer integrated advanced cyber security solutions. So. When it comes to choosing cybersecurity solutions, um, we asked respondents, what are the top three factors you consider when, you when you're choosing a cybersecurity solution? Um, and performance and cost are the most important factors for SMBs. Um, in fact, um, as you can see on screen, performance at some, is actually a little bit higher than, than cost. Um, so you know, this does reflect the sort of practical nature um, of SMBs. Um, so, and as we're aware, you know, SMBs do fall into, do have this sort of dilemma. They want to have security solutions that, that provide, you know, robust protection, 
um, but at the same time, um, they operate within limited budgets. So, um, so the cost of cybersecurity calls can be a, a, a barrier to adoption. Um, but this creates an opportunity to develop or um, offer solutions that uh, balance performance and affordability. Um, and then ease of ease of use. So SMBs want to invest in a reliable solution that is, you know, it's easy to manage, or should we say, friendly to the non-IT expert. Um, and you know, that's in order to free up their time to focus on, you know, their core business objective, mark, you know, making sales, delivering quality projects and services. They want to have, they want that reassurance, that peace of mind that the uh, cybersecurity solution they they are uh, they're investing in is just easy to manage. It gives them that peace of mind. It's affordable and gives them the performance that they're looking for. Um, so this again is another opportunity for CSPs to, in how to position um, themselves when it comes to um, cybersecurity. Moving on, um, interest. We asked, um, how did you acquire your most recent cybersecurity solution for your business? And most SMBs, 36%, are acquiring their cybersecurity solution through managed service providers um, as part of a larger IT or mobile service package. Um, some go to an online marketplace. Um, others go to an added service from an existing tech provider. Um, but it does show there's this growing trend for SMBs to prefer more comprehensive service bundles, which, as we've seen, are easy to use, reliable, and budget friendly. But there are struggles when it comes to adopting cybersecurity. Um, and we asked the question, what are the biggest challenges or barriers you have regarding your cybersecurity? Um, and one of the key challenges SMBs face is user awareness and training, with 41% identifying this as a major issue. So without adequate training, if you can imagine it, an employee might unknowingly click um, on a phishing email for a victim to a social engineering attack. So, you know, the, the risks are even higher when SMBs lack the resources to provide regular updated training on new um, and emerging threats. Um, and then second place, keeping up with emerging threats, um, you know, you have the rise of new technologies which are making cyber attacks more and more sophisticated. So if we take Gen AI, for example, um, that's led to the development of new attack methods. Um, and we've seen and heard of that voice manip manipulation, for example, is now being used to impersonate trusted individuals, such as banks and loved ones to scam them out of transferring money. Um, and that's a technique that we're seeing already. Um, and then lastly, another struggle that they have with cybersecurity adoption in their top three, that is, is budget constraints. So, you know, take, for instance, a retailer, they're already operating on uh, tight margins, especially in today's economic climate. So finding a cost-effective cybersecurity solution that offers robust protection without stretching limited, with their already limited financial resources would be incredibly valued. So um, the next question we asked is, what is your company approximate annual budget on cybersecurity in, in US dollars? And you can see clearly on screen, there's a different range of prices that um, uh, respondents or SMB owners are, are willing to spend. But the, the average works out around $1,399. Um, you do have a portion which is around 55%, which is spending up to $999 annually, and some that are slightly higher, going up to you know, $3,999, even 6999 um, but you know, with these with budgets like these, um, you know, many SMBs do find themselves underprotected, um, and especially given the nature of these uh, cyber cyber attacks and how they're becoming more and more uh, sophisticated. Um, and you know, for instance, if you take a ransomware attack, that can cause financial damage far greater than the annual budget allocated to cybersecurity. So. You know, there is an opportunity to offer cost-effective, scalable solutions that will provide stronger protection um, that, you know, without requiring such significant investment up front. So looking at um, how prepared, the level of preparedness SMBs are for up and coming regulatory changes in cybersecurity and data protection um, that might affect their business. 
Um, and only 32% of respondents said they feel fully prepared. They're aware and fully prepared. While 46% are still in the process of making preparations. Um, now, you know, whilst this sounds good, as if, if an SMB fails to comply with regulations, they can face fines or penalties um, in addition to, you know, reputational damages from a, from a data breach. Um, so there is an opportunity to provide solutions that help SMB stay compliant with evolving regulations, whilst reducing the complexity uh, involved in managing compliance as well. The next question we asked is, what steps have you taken to ensure your business is compliant with current or future relevant cybersecurity um, compliances? So, uh, regulations, sorry. So, immediately you can see from the responses we found that 67% of SMBs have updated their policies and, um, and procedures, and 61% have implemented compliance specific security measures. However, only 24% have consulted with a compliance expert. So this data might show that whilst SMBs are taking this sort of proactive step to comply with regulations, there is still a significant gap when it comes to seeking expert guidance. Without this expertise, businesses may not fully understand the nuances of regulatory requirements, potentially leaving themselves vulnerable to non-compliant fines or breaches. So, you know, as we've seen, they rely, most of them rely on internal resources, um, and that, but that can often result in overlooking critical areas. So this sort of consulting with experts, ensuring policies and are comprehensive and up to date and aligned with current regulatory frameworks will help SMBs mitigate risks and avoid penalties. So again, this presents another opportunity you know, for CSPs to offer bundled cybersecurity solutions that not only include policies, uh, policy updates and compliance uh, specific measures, but also provide um, access perhaps to expert guidance. Um, we then asked, are you aware of the benefits of cybersecurity solutions that are automatically installed on the IT mobile network compared to app-based cybersecurity solutions? Um, and, you know, the awareness is building. And around 52% are fully aware of, or 48% are fully aware, but that means the majority, um, you know, either have a basic understanding or no awareness of, of the benefits of a network-based cybersecurity um, compared to device security. While app-based security can provide individual you know, protection on individual uh, devices, network-based security offers a broader level of protection that can offer all devices connected to the network. Um, so SMBs that are unaware of the benefits may be missing out on a more comprehensive solution, leaving gaps in their security. So again, another opportunity lies in, ed in educating SMBs about the, adv the advantages of network-based solutions. Um, so looking at, um, you know, how much um, they're willing to spend on IT mobile security, um, more than half of SMBs prefer bundled security solutions at no extra cost, which is, you know, you'd expect that. Um, they are, you know, price savvy, but the remaining are willing to spend, um, and, and especially on a cost-effective approach to managing both their IT and uh, cybersecurity needs. So offering a bundled uh, solution that can give SMBs the security they need without adding complexity or significant costs are going to be highly valued. Okay, and then finally, we asked SMBs about their intentions to upgrade their cybersecurity solutions over the next um, 12 months. Um, and 65% of respondents said they're likely to purchase or upgrade their cybersecurity tools. So, you know, this highlights the growing awareness among SMBs about the importance of cybersecurity. Um, and with this increasing intent to invest in better protection, there's clearly an opportunity to meet this demand with solutions that are flexible, scalable, affordable, and tailored to the ever evolving needs. So um, just to sort of, if I was to summarize that in a few words, you know, um, so, We've seen that SMBs are adopting basic security measures. There's a clear gap in their use of more advanced tools and also training and compliance. Um, and 
the survey has really highlighted this opportunity to um, offer scalable, cost-effective solutions that can help SMBs sort of close these gaps, protect against emerging threats, and stay compliant with regulations. Thank you.